All right, Beyond the Blue RC. I've had a few requests to do a uh, video on all the upgrades I've done to my Revo 2.0, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Let's get the body off. First thing that you can see as obviously there's an outer wears pre-filter uh, for the chassis so I'll peel that off I think I'll just do the one side here so I don't really need to do all right got some hot racing uh, springs for the shocks. I needed a much stiffer setup. I did not like the stock spring. I didn't like any of the uh, tracks and springs. They're just way too soft. So I got some blue hot racing springs up front and some gold that are stiffer hot racing springs in the back. And of course I went with the Traxxas aluminum rear chassis brace and some hot racing limiting straps for the rear that's how i have them mounted looks pretty good carbon fiber uh wing from traxxas just for looks it really doesn't make it that much stronger i mean a little bit but it's more for looks than anything else i went with a hot racing spur gear cover just because it looks cool and it does help with some heat dissipation heat dissipation it does so that's just an added extra bonus got some hot racing limiting straps up front functional and look good well, that's always nice Got uh, some Savox waterproof servos. They look pretty good and they work flawlessly. I haven't had any issues with those at all. Plenty of torque, plenty of power. Hot racing front bumper. Obviously aluminum. Hot racing front skid plate. I'm gonna get a center skid plate. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's like 80 bucks for a, for a <laughs> center skid plate. So yeah, I'm just, I wanna get it just cause it's gonna look cool and just add to the look right here underneath and it's just gonna stiffen things up. But uh, for $80, I'm gonna wait on it. I will get it, but in a while. And a few other things in the pipeline and of course a hot racing rear bumper and I did add some LEDs so you can see that um, some LEDs in the back and there are some LEDs up front obviously red in the back and clear up front and that was an LED kit that I found off of Amazon. For barely, barely inexpensive. I just kind of wired it myself. Ran everything through my receiver box right here. So I have a extension that runs from the receiver box kind of around here. So I can unplug the lights at any time if I want to. I don't have to open up the receiver box to just disconnect them. And in the rear, I have them running through fuel tube, then into the bumper, because these are a smaller LED and they would not fit. They were actually too loose, they would just fall out. So I took some fuel tubing from an RC Nitro uh, car that I have, and just some extra fuel tubing and cut it and 
worked perfectly and actually kind of gives like a kind of a cool red glow when it's on so it looks really cool and I do believe those are all of the upgrades that I have done to this truck so far and I'd like to get my next upgrade is going to be some kind of heat sink cooling fan for this I got one for the um, a hot racing one for my Rustler 4x4 and I thought that would fit out here but it won't this is smaller can is just way too big It'll work, but I can just mount the heat sinks on there. The fan won't work because it kind of bends the heat sink and that defeats the whole purpose because it's already kind of got a heat sink type of deal here. It's ridged. There's a heat sink on this motor from the factory. So it's not a huge heat sink, but there is one. There is some heat sink going on there. So yeah. Do want to get a heat sink um, fan combo for that? So pretty happy with this truck. Beyond, beyond the blue RC. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and please subscribe.